Welcome to Worldwide Top Tens Channel. The United States is considered the serial killer capital of the world due to the high rate of serial killers in the country. However, serial murderers from Scotland are just as well known in the country as figures like John Wayne Gacy and Jeffrey Dahmer are in the United States. These horrific killers often put their victims through prolonged torture prior to killing and were motivated by everything from monetary gain to a pure desire for violence. In this video we list down the top Scotland serial killers. Peter Manuel. Peter Manuel killed and raped an undetermined number of people from 1956 to 1958. His victims ranged in age from 10 to 45, both male and female, and they were all shot. Manuel confessed to eight murders but was ultimately only convicted of seven. This makes his precise number of victims unclear. Some investigators put his murder count as high as 19. He was found guilty of seven counts of murder and hung at Bellini Prison in 1958 at the age of 31. Supposedly, his last words were, turn up the radio and I'll go quietly. However, this was never confirmed. Peter Tobin Peter Tobin is a Scottish rapist and murderer who was convicted of killing three people between 1991 and 2006. He has stated that the actual number of his victims is closer to 48. After he was convicted of the rape and murder of a young woman in 2007, police searched his former home, as they suspected him of being responsible for other murders. There, they found the bodies of numerous women who had gone missing over the years. There is some speculation that Tobin may be the man responsible for the Bible John murders, as well, due to his resemblance to a police sketch and witness descriptions. The Bible John killer took the lives of three women in Glasgow during the 1960s. Tobin is currently serving out three life sentences in prison. Archibald Hall Scottish thief and killer Archibald Hall, aka Roy Fontaine, committed several murders while working as a butler in the homes of British aristocrats. His first known murder was that of groundskeeper David Wright. Hall shot in the head while rabbit hunting in 1977. The majority of his murder victims were also subjects of his robberies, where he stole jewelry and other valuables. After police discovered numerous bodies, Hall was arrested. He was sentenced to life in prison and died of a stroke in Kingston Prison in 2002. Edward William Pritchard In 1865, Edward William Pritchard was found guilty of killing his wife and mother-in-law by poisoning. He poisoned them over the course of several months with aconite and antimony. Pritchard denied them treatment from anyone other than himself, as he was a doctor. Following a five-day trial, he was hung publicly in Glasgow Green. It's reported that as many as 100,000 people showed up to witness his execution. Angus Sinclair Angus Sinclair was found guilty of the 1977 murders of teenagers Christy Needy and Helen Scott, crimes that came to be known as the World's End murders. Prior to this conviction, he had previously served 10 years in prison for murdering an 8-year-old girl when he was 16 via strangulation. Sinclair was in jail again, this time serving a life sentence for a string of sexual assaults against children. By the time DNA evidence linked him to the murders of Edie and Helen Scott at the World's End pub in Edinburgh. He wasn't convicted of the murders until 2014 and was sentenced to life in prison with a guaranteed minimum of 37 years served. He died in prison at age 73 in March 2019. Brendan Burke and William Hare Brendan Burke and William Hare committed at least 17 murders in Edinburgh, Scotland, in 1828. They would sell the corpses of their victims to Dr. Robert Knox, an anatomy lecturer, as he needed materials for dissection. When the men faced trial, Hare was offered immunity for testifying against Burke and accepted the deal. Burke was eventually found guilty of murder and died via hanging. Robert Black Robert Black kidnapped, raped, and murdered four girls, ages 5 to 11, in the UK and Scotland from 1981 to 1986. He was captured after a witness saw him abduct a neighborhood girl in 1990. He was sentenced to life in prison, where he died in 2016. He is believed to have been responsible for several other unsolved child abductions and murders in the 1980s. Thank you for watching this video. For more interesting videos, please like our channel and hit the subscribe button.